morning everyone. Um, it's Thursday morning and it's just dawned on me, um, which shouldn't really come as any surprise because it's been coming for months now, but uh, in just a few days time I've got to go to Australia um, for the first Grand Prix, which is both hugely exciting and something I've been looking forward to for a long, long time. Uh, these kind of off-season uh, down periods are as brilliant as they are frustrating and as Formula 1 fans you'll get that, I know. Um, but the thing that, uh, that really hit me this morning is that I've got to go to Australia and leave all of this, all of my family and my friends that I've been hanging out with for so long now over the last few months and so much, I've got to leave them all behind. Um, and in doing that you've got to make sure that lots of things are kind of in order. Um, you know, all the jobs that have been sort of on the back burner have got to be ticked off. Um, all this stuff I've got going on with the builders at home. I've got to make sure that everything's in place because I'm not going to be here. And it's only a week, but I'm not going to be here for a week. And when I get back from that, I'll be here for another week and then I'll go again and off to a double header of uh, Bahrain and China. So, you know, suddenly you've got to really get your life in order. Um, and that's definitely hit me today. <laughs> On the plus side, uh, this morning I'm off to go and see my youngest son's class assembly at school, uh, which I already know will be something to behold <laughs> um, moments like that are really what you know keep you going because <clears throat> when you have so much time away traveling you do kind of miss out on all that stuff so it's been really nice to be able to over the last few months just hang out with the family go to things like the school shows and the school plays and uh, just do family stuff do you know what I mean it's been great um, and there is a kind of Almost like a, a back to school feeling when you're coming to the end of your summer holidays as a kid and you're starting to think, what didn't I manage to do in the summer holidays? What have I still got to achieve before I go back to school? And that's kind of what I'm doing today. Trying to cram in all the things that I have to do. Uh, one of which, by the way, uh, disappointingly, is fix the car. Well, I'm not going to do it, but I'm going to take it to a garage. Power steering went completely on my, uh, on my car yesterday. Which, uh, you know, could do without, but um, something else on the list now, isn't it? Also, there's a small matter of, uh, of the Formula E race in Uruguay, uh, on which I will be commentating. Um, and I'm really pleased to say that this week, um, in the commentary box, I'm going to be joined by Harrison Newey, um, Adrian's son. Um, so, a young, aspiring racing driver, a talented guy, a very nice guy by all accounts, I haven't met him yet. Um, but he'll be alongside me doing co-coms, um, so I'm going to get into all sorts of things with him uh, about his racing career, obviously, and obviously about Formula E, but I wonder if there's anything else we should be asking Harrison Newey about his life, about his dad, about whether he has aspirations as an engineer as well as a driver. Um, I, don't know, I think he's going to be a really interesting character. If you've got anything you want me to ask him, by all means, pop it in the comments box below. Wilson's met another dog. Wilson, Wilson. Um, <laughs> right, so class assembly done, uh, that was amazing, uh, car taken to the garage, not so amazing, uh, at least probably 10 absolutely critical decisions made uh, with the builders on things that they are doing, and that's been done, and now I'm on the way into Sky Sports to pick up my team kit, my uniform, Sky uniform for the season, and to have my annual hearing test done to see if the noise of these Formula 1 cars is in any way damaging my hearing. And I know you'll all be screaming at the screen right now going, what are you talking about? These cars are absolutely quiet these days. Of course they're not damaging hearing. <laughs> I know, but it's something we've got to get done. Good. All right, I 
thank you very much. So if any shame is from previous stuff for now, from what we've done today, yeah. there's no need to problem. So. Awesome. Yes, with that. Sorry. Passed. <laughs> uh, well, passed my hearing test, whatever that means. We're good to go. This has just been brought to my attention today. What a brilliant idea. Um, branding, if you like, or at least painting, uh, livering, livering, is that a word? <laughs> painting the halo in the colours of the driver's crash helmet. Um, instantly kind of recognisable, of course, as to who's in the car, which is not uh, so instantly recognisable as it currently stands with the driver hidden behind that big bulky halo. Um, just, just a great way to do it. it makes the car more colourful, uh, makes the sort of integration of the halo, I think, a much better feature. Um, of course, there's going to be some teams, and I, am, I fully expect actually lots of the teams to start selling the space, um, the branding space on and around the halo, probably for a reasonable amount of money, because it's going to be an area of big interest, particularly at the beginning of the year. But what an interesting idea. I love it. What do you think? been a busy day, um, been quite productive, got quite a few things ticked off the list. Um, I was pleased to say that the fix on my car was a relatively simple one, just a power steering pipe had popped off and dropped all the fluid out, so uh, that's been done, picked that up in the morning. Uh, I managed to get um, three out of my four children into the same room at the same time, which is a hell of an achievement these days, I can promise you, um, for coffee and cakes earlier, that was great. And then I came home and I spent most of this evening doing, or starting at least, my research and note taking for this weekend's Formula E race uh, from Punta del Este in Uruguay, uh, where I'll be commentating on Formula E radio, as I said, alongside Harrison Newey, which I'm looking forward to. Um, and I've just noticed, just reading the, uh, the sort of motorsport websites quickly before going to bed, um, there's a bit of a, a, a story bubbling um, isn't there about Laurel Mekis, the uh, FIA safety de uh, delegate, leaving the FIA to join Ferrari. Um, and he's starting at Ferrari in six months time, which breaks a gentleman's agreement that all the teams agreed on at the last strategy meeting uh, that anybody in key technical positions at the FIA or at F1 would not join a Formula One team for at least 12 months. Ferrari have immediately immediately after making that, that uh, gentleman's agreement, gone and broken it, and this guy starts in September. Um, so McLaren have announced that they're very unhappy. I know a few other teams are also pretty unhappy about it too. I can see this one bubbling on and on. And on that note, I'm going to bed. <laughs> I'm not sure what to call uh, this episode. It just hasn't, it's been a bit of a nothing episode, hasn't it? I hope uh, <laughs> it still has some value to you. Perhaps I'll just call it the uh, the vlog with no name. Night, folks. Mm -hmm.